In this video, we're going to learn what velocity zones are and how to work with them. We're going to start a training session and we're going to go to the training settings. And the third one down would be the velocity zones. We click on it and it gives us a brief explanation of what they are. Basically, a velocity zone has a maximum and a minimum. So, a higher velocity and a lower velocity. Here in predefined zones, we have some ranges already set up. This is simply to help the user, but if you want to make a personalized one, all you have to do is move the range, this range here, to wherever you want it. If you want to adjust the left side, you simply move the left bar, and if you want to adjust the right side, you would just move the right bar. If you want more precision, you can move the bars with these plus and minus signs. These are for the left side and these are for the right side. Here we can see that the velocity zone we have set is 094 for the fastest and 054 for the slowest and the fatigue is 43%. So basically the fatigue references the difference in velocity between the highest and the lowest. Another thing we can do here is if we slide the bar all the way to the left, we can deactivate the top range, the highest velocity range. This way, we leave only the bottom range of velocity activated, which is 105. It would be the same if we move the bar all the way to the right. We can see that the bottom range of velocity is deactivated, and we would only have Let's make it a little wider, and we would only be left with the top range of velocity. We're going to do a normal example. Okay, let's move this, this bar this way. Let's make it a little less wide, and let's see how this works. Before we do anything, we have to check that this is activated, and as a warning, this will be in conflict with the fatigue. What I mean is, if I activate the fatigue, we get a notice that when we click on it will tell us we can't work with the velocity zones and the fatigue at the same time. It will prioritize, in this case, the velocity zones. So if I want to work with fatigue, I would have to deactivate the velocity zones. And if I want to work with velocity zones, then I would have to deactivate the fatigue. So let's start a training session and see how this works. So as I was saying, it's a maximum and minimum range. We put the maximum at 090 and the minimum at 055. The idea is to do reps that are within that range. So let's do a few. Okay, and these are all within that range. So what happens if I use a very light load and I go outside the range? It will beep to warn me and also the bar will be gray. What happens if I reach a certain level of fatigue or do reps until I'm fatigued or I use a load that is too heavy and I don't reach the minimum? It would also beep, warning me that I didn't reach the minimum range. This function is fairly similar to the one we had before of stopping velocity or cutoff velocity, which was the same as the minimum range. Now we have that same function with the velocity zones. As I explained before, if we go here to velocity zones and we only want the minimum range, or the cutoff velocity, all we have to do is deactivate the max range. We move it here to the left, and now we can see it's deactivated. And let's imagine the stopping velocity we want is 0 030, then we go back here. We can see that there's only a minimum. So if I do faster reps, it will pick all of them up. But as I start going slower, even slower. It's the same stopping velocity function we had before. It appears in gray and it beeps since we didn't reach the minimum velocity and that's everything to do with velocity zones and how to use them.